Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a video that uh, is not very common or something that you don't see that much, but uh, we're going to be working on the CX-5. And it's not just a simple how-to or maintenance. I'm actually going to slowly start my process of making this thing actually look pretty badass. So the CX-5 is a phenomenal, it's, it's an awesome um, SUV. Um, really, like, honestly completely well-rounded um, whether it's gas mileage it is got it's great if you're actually going off-road as well um, and you know for a daily driver for me it's extremely comfortable but we got to make this thing look a little bit badass so today I'm going to be blacking it out um, or I'm going to start the blackout process I am gonna be throwing on new rims um, as well but these tires are seriously like brand new and I feel like I'm wasting money if I just toss them. Um, so I am gonna at least keep these on for at least another 10,000 miles to make me feel um, like I'm not just throwing money out the window. So, um, but like I said, I'm gonna start the process of blacking out. I'm gonna take away basically all the chrome on the car. Uh, and yeah that's really kind of it I might actually also do the rims um, but I'm not sure yet so let's uh, kind of get started I'm really just going through the process I'm just kind of cleaning up all the chrome um, with a degreaser uh, this front lip as well here you know right in front here on the bumper um, it's too happy see that smile it's too happy we need to make it look more badass um, and then in the back, of course, you got the CX-5 symbol and the Mazda symbol. Um, so yeah, so I'm just kind of cleaning it up right now, getting it ready, prepping it, and uh, and yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna spray it. So um, oh, like I was saying, sorry, just using the degreaser, and then going to be using um, you know alcohol swabs. I'm not gonna scuff the chrome up. Um, it doesn't need to. Uh, it should should work fine should stick fine um, and again uh, going to be using Plasti Dip so it is honestly like <laughs> over the last like year it's been like my new best friend um, but yeah I mean it, it really does it works good as long as you do it properly it, it works really well you can't tell the difference and uh, if I want to restore it back to normal I just peel off the peel it off so um, let me continue cleaning it up and then we'll get to uh, make this thing look badass. Alright guys, so we've got everything all prepped up. Just so you could see, there's two different um, techniques I'm going to be using. This one, I literally have it outlined um, and taped off. Just because there are a few different creases. Um, until you get to like where I would actually want it to cover. Uh, so yeah, you can most certainly do uh, Plasti Dip that way and then this way I have the normal way So you're doing about a half an inch to an inch if you'd like um, just kind of outline the area And then paint in between uh, you know obviously spray in between the border and then uh, Peel the paint off and it kind of cuts itself um, Especially when you have, you know like this <clears throat> The actual emblems are you know lifted so the paint will feel itself it's not so much with the chrome on the sides and such so really just kind of you want to border it as if you were painting anything so I'm gonna do my first coat and uh, I'll show you what it ends up looking like all right guys so it is actually coming out pretty bad ass looking um, which I'm super excited about but two things um, one uh, it looks so much better that literally looks so much better and again this is I probably have one or I would say maybe two more coats uh, that I want to put on but like I said two problems one is that we are out of Plasti Dip um, I have a whole nother cam but it's over at the other property uh, so I'm gonna have to just run down the down the street real quick and grab another one and two obviously we are out of tape so I was not able to do this front side here so let me run to the auto store pick some up and uh and let's finish this off so uh i think it's gonna look super badass so i will show you let me go do that real quick and then i'll show you the finished product so all right guys so i think that it looks absolutely sick um 
I think it gives the car a much more aggressive look. Um, yeah, seriously, I'm super excited about it. I cannot wait to uh, put some new rims on them. These are, I mean, these are so ugly. Like sometimes I wonder what these manufacturers are thinking when they throw these rims on here. But regardless, super excited. I love the way it looks. Um, but yeah, and then after you take everything off, all the tape off, um, you're seriously just going around with a microfiber towel and uh, just wiping away all the excess plastic dip. So again, super excited. So stay tuned. It's going to be a whole different car um, after we put rims on it. Um, just or just rims alone are really just going to change the overall appearance of the car. Um, but we're going to be doing some exhaust work and things along those lines as well too. So definitely stay tuned. Um, in case this is the first uh, video that you are watching, uh, I do a lot of work on um, my Z. Um, I have a ton of videos on my WRX and then uh, FJ Cruiser as well too. So please like and subscribe. Um, ton of content. So thanks a lot guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one.